Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little different than normal. I'm going to be talking to you guys about my favorite like social media people. I'm not still sure what I'm going to be calling this video but it's kind of like I'm only going through YouTube and Instagram because I don't really look at people on Facebook or Twitter that really that much. So this is kind of like it's kind of just going to be a video about who I watch on YouTube, who I, whose posts I seek out on Instagram, you know? This is just going to be like, um, because I'm subscribed to so many people on YouTube, and I watch a lot of people on YouTube, but there's a few people, like less than 10 people, that I will watch all of their videos, like no matter what they upload, because either their personality is just really nice, their voice is soothing, or I just like what they're doing, you know? And like on Instagram, with Instagram's weird algorithm, I miss a lot of people's posts, even though I'm, I'm following over 400 people on Instagram, I just look. But there's a few people whose posts I will actively seek out if I've missed them, which is who I'm gonna like leave down here. So anyway, I'm not sure what this video is gonna be called. It's gonna be like who I'm most inspired by, who I like watching my favorite YouTubers slash Instagrammers. I don't know. Anyway, without further ado, I'm just going to get into this list and let you guys know who I like to watch or like pictures of on social media. Alright, so first we're starting with YouTubers that I like to watch and first on this list is Zoella. I know she's more of a, a big YouTuber, but I just like, and especially her vlog, her vlog channel more Zoella, I just really like her personality. Her voice to me is very soothing. She's um, seems very down to earth. She's very open about talking about like her anxiety and her um, other issues in life. So I like watching her stuff and kind of feeling like um, a friend, you know, like I know her. I like having her vlogs on kind of in the background to just listen to because like I said, I think her voice is very relaxing. And this kind of goes into my next person which is Mark Ferris which is Zoella's like best friend they do they've been doing a lot of vlogs together lately and both of their vlogs are really fun to watch and I like watching Mark's normal videos too he does a lot of cool like hauls and stuff and he has great I think he has great fashion sense they both have very good fashion sense so I like watching their hauls or like lookbooks and stuff from them yeah he just got like a new apartment a couple of months ago last year and it's been fun watching him decorate and that kind of a thing I love watching those kinds of videos, so that's why I like both of them. They both have very nice personalities, seem very down to earth, very open, and yeah, those are the two that I like. And I should have mentioned this before, but like obviously all of these people have more than one social media. I'm just talking about the place that I look for them for. Like I follow Zoella on Instagram and Twitter, but I don't like search out her feed necessarily on those apps as much as I do on YouTube. So, a little disclaimer. Uh, next on my list, I have Achievement Hunter. This is a gaming channel, um, which is different. You won't see me do gaming videos unless you want me to see, unless you want to see me do gaming videos. But I suck at them, and I much rather like <laughs> watching other people do gaming, do games, and fail, and then get frustrated. So I can just laugh. <laughs> so that's what Achievement Hunter is for. Achievement Hunter slash Let's Play is also kind of their channel, and I just like watching them play video games. Um, all of, they all have hilarious personalities. <laughs> I've been watching Achievement Hunter for a long time now. Since like high school. So like six years, which is a long time. But yeah, it's a, it's different obviously from like the kind of lifestyle channel that Zoella and Mark Ferris have, but I don't know, it's something, if you're into more gaming videos, I would go check out Achievement Hunter slash Let's Play. And they're literally the channel that I watch every day. If I have videos on like backlog on my computer that I have to watch, it's gonna be theirs. It's gonna be their games just because even if I don't like the game that they're playing, I'm gonna watch it because I like their reactions and stuff. Like I don't play GTA. I've tried. I suck at it. I don't... that's just not my kind of game. But watching them play GTA is the funniest thing that I have ever seen. I just love watching them play games. So. That's why I follow them. Next on my list is Alicia is Alyssa Ashley. She also has Twitter and Instagram, and I do I do have her I do search her out on Instagram for her photos because she's a great photographer and I use her as inspiration a lot. 
but I watch her on YouTube because she does great um, reviews, very informative videos, very funny videos. Her setup is uh, beautiful, gorgeous, like 4K, like everything. She does lighting very well. She knows how to film. Like I said, she takes photos. She takes amazing photos, so she knows what she's doing with setup and stuff. Yeah, she just hit a million subscribers a bit ago, so I think she really deserves it. She does great videos. She's very, I love her personality. She seems, like I said, very nice. I'd love to be like friends with her in real life, you know? So yeah, that's Alyssa Ashley. Next, I have Desi Perkins and Luster Lux Katie. They're kind of, I kind of package them together because they're best friends. Their collabs with each other are always hilarious. Um, they both do very informative beauty videos as well, also style videos. Desi Perkins in specific has a vlog channel, The Perkins, with her husband Steven, and their vlogs are always, always A+. The, the editing is amazing, the footage is amazing, the music choices, everything they do with their vlogs is perfect, and I love them. Katie Lester Lux also does vlogs too, but she has it on her normal channel, Lester Lux, instead of their separate channel, The Perkins. Um, also, I have slow-mo guys, the slow-mo guys. Uh, one of them, Gavin, is actually an Achievement Hunter. So I find, I don't know who I found first. I think I found slow-mo guys, like kind of through Achievement Hunter, honestly, which is probably backwards for some people. But yeah, slow-mo guys is really, um, it's kind of informative. It's really informative and it's very fun. Like, we, there was just a video he did about slow-mo, like, what a TV looks like in slow-mo and kind of that thing, and it was really interesting. And the way that, like, Gavin explains things, like, scientifically, it makes sense to me and it makes me, helps me remember that kind of stuff, so, I don't know, it's a fun, I mean, they blow stuff up, you know, it's, it's fun, but it's also really educational, so I really like that channel. Next on my list, I have Quickened, Q-C-K-N-D, Quickened. Uh, Amanda from Quicken, she does, I've been watching her for quite a while too, she has this, um, she does this kind of like weekly podcast, although it's not always weekly, but she does this thing called uh, Tattoo Talk Tuesday, and I don't have tattoos, you know, I'm just, it's just something that I stumbled across, and all of her videos are well informed, she takes time to look up things, if she doesn't have an answer for a question, she'll ask someone who does, like a tattoo artist or someone else that she knows, and um, I don't know, she's very informative. Her normal videos are good too. She does a lot of vlogs as well, and I really like those. But the Tattoo Talk Tuesday podcast thing was what got me hooked on her channel. And so yeah, if you're interested in more laid back, she's also a cosmetologist, a hairstylist in Philadelphia. And yeah, she makes really cool videos, so go check her out. Last on my list of YouTube, I have Laura Valentine, which is my friend Laura. She's someone, I watch all of her videos. <laughs> Um, yeah, she does a lot of vlogs. I think a lot of her content is vlogs or lifestyle things. She did a lot of things with Epcot Food and Wine Festival, Vlogmas. I, I really do like watching Laura. This isn't just like a, a friend plug, you know, but I really like watching Laura's videos. And yeah, so that's it for YouTube. I'm moving on to Instagram now. Instagram, the first person, this is kind of more all over the place than YouTube is, but the first person I have on my list is Miles Media One, um, which is run by the guy Miles Santiago, who I actually went to high school with. Um, he also has a YouTube channel called Miles Media, which he talks a lot about photography and behind the scenes shoots, and that was actually very informative as well. But I go looking for his Instagram posts more. So he posts a lot of some photography. His pictures are beautiful, they're very stunning. He has a good eye. That's what I'm gonna say. He's a good eye for photos. I really like seeing his photos on my Instagram feed. And like I said, I will search them out if I feel like I haven't seen anything in a while. Next on my list, I have Myrtle Neck, which is my friend Shamaria, who did my hair a while ago. Um, she is an amazing makeup artist. She posts makeup. She posts makeup looks like every couple of days, you know, a couple times a week, and they're always stunning, beautiful, gorgeous. And also, she posted a cover like her singing a song um, on Instagram not that long ago, and her voice is amazing. I mean, I've known this for a long time, but her voice is amazing. She had a YouTube channel at one point, I don't know if she still does anymore, where she had a couple covers on there, but definitely check out her Instagram if you like hot fire makeup looks and hot fire talent. So, um, next on my list, I have, okay, I don't know how to say his last name, it's Brandon Welfel, 
you'll know who I'm talking about by the pictures. I'm sure you've seen them everywhere. But his um, his pictures really inspire me. He has a he has a YouTube channel as well, but I don't search that out. I look for the photos. Also, he has a personal account which is just Brand Wolf. That's more of his personal account where you can see behind the scenes, before and afters, that kind of a thing, as opposed to his like main Instagram account. So I'll check the personal one a bit more because I like seeing before and afters and um, just the the process that he goes through for those photos are like insane. It gives me a lot of inspiration honestly and I just really love seeing every new photo set that he comes out with and I kind of want to buy his book a lot. Next we have Lucinda212 or 212 whatever. She's a really amazing makeup artist. You usually only see like this square of her face. It's like her eye and her eyebrow but she does some amazing art just on this area of her face and it's insane. I've been following her for a while she does great themed art, just color. It's really insane and you can get some great inspiration from following someone like her, so I would highly recommend you check her out. Um, next we have Kelsey Magart. I recently, just recently found her on Instagram through Twitter because she posted a behind the scenes of taking pictures in Hobby Lobby and how it came out afterwards. And it's actually, once again, really inspiring to me to see where someone takes a photo, even if it's by a dumpster in Walmart and what it turns out to be, that is insane. Like, she does a lot of those behind the scenes of like she was at a movie theater not that long ago taking pictures and showing them what they look like after was great. Moving on from like kind of photography stuff, we have Zach the Ripper cosplay. This is definitely different, but this is my friend Zach who I've known in high school, who's a couple years older than me, but he is an amazing makeup artist, uh, cosplayer drag queen, um, all of the above. I just love seeing his posts. Like, his, he's amazing at cosplay. Makeup is great. They've been doing a lot of like Tuesday, like weekly kind of challenges. And I just love seeing new things from him because he is so talented and I just love the art that he puts out. Next we're kind of in like artists. I have Beverly Love as an artist. I really love her art style. It's very like, to me it's very bubbly and cute and very kind of fantasy-esque, you know? It's just really cute, something I would um, picture in like a little kid's book, not like it's anything bad, just like it's very like simple and adorable, which is what I think <laughs> of her art style. Next we have Vicky Sai. Vicky Sai is an amazing artist. She did a um, dessert girls thing, I think it was for Halloween. Or like Inktober, you know, where every day was like a different dessert, like slash pinup style girl. It was a very beautiful art. I would love to own a print of her someday because her art is just stunning and it's beautiful and I would get it tattooed on my face. Not really, <laughs> but okay. Last on my list is Miss Jasmine, Miss Jasmina D. And you've probably seen her if you've seen like if you follow makeup companies. She does a lot of lip swatches, but she also does amazing lip art. Like amazing lip art. Like how I feel about um, Lucinda 212, Miss Jasmine, Miss Jasmina D does great lip art. Like it's insane how she gets all that stuff on her lips. It's really cool. That's it for my Instagram. You should follow. Uh, I have one special mention. This is a blog. I don't read a lot of blogs, honestly. I don't go searching for blogs, but one that I do read is called Oh Hello Darling by my friend Lindsay Silver. She does a lot of, she's made personal posts, but mostly what she does is movie reviews. So if there's a movie coming out, you will most likely find a review for it on her um, blog. She's very good at looking at all aspects of a movie and giving you her opinions on them. Um, yeah, I really like her blog. I have definitely, I read like every single post, even if I haven't watched the movie, you know, or if I'm gonna see it, I will save it for later, go see the movie and then come back. But yeah, that's like my special mention is a blog because like I said, I don't read a lot of blogs. Hers is the only one that I actually follow. But anyway, those were kind of my like, I don't know, follow forever um, people you should be following. Maybe that's what I'll call this. People you should be following on YouTube slash Instagram. Um, if you have people that you like watching on YouTube or following on Instagram, feel free to leave them below. Um, even if it's yourself, I'll go give you a check. I'll go check you out, you know? Um, I don't know. 
these are people I like and like I said I look for and I enjoy their content and you should go check them out or let me know if you've already known these people and you're like you're late to the party because I know <laughs> but um, yeah uh, let me know what you think about this video let me know if you want to see like other videos do you want to see like my top 10 favorite youtubers or something or do you want me to talk about who I like on Twitter uh, you know whatever let me know and uh, let me know what you guys want to see from me in the future don't forget to like comment subscribe and I will see you guys next time bye